I have not worked on the she shed in probably about three months. Um, if you know anything about the she shed, um, we got this from my mother-in-law when she sold her house. This shed was sitting at her house for probably about almost 30 years, 25 years. It wasn't painted. Um, it was in rough shape. So we were able to get it as a gift from her. Uh, and we got it hauled here, which was kind of crazy just getting it here. Um, I've been working on the inside. I put insulation in, some nice siding uh, or paneling. Um, it's dry wired. Um, I put a loft in there for storage and also kids can maybe hang out in there or a guest can maybe sleep up top one day. Um, and I got flooring from a friend of mine um, he was redoing his living room, so I got free flooring. Looks good. Um, the ceiling, um, I was able to salvage some old wood paneling for my wife's um, childhood home. Um, so it's pretty cool. These locust posts, I don't know if you can see them, are harvested from our property. So I have reused some stuff, which I always enjoy doing. But I haven't been working on the she shed. Got lots of other projects with COVID going on and working and uh, just life and I got a bunch of other little projects I've been working on but today people is she shed day I have I think all the materials to finally put the stairs on the deck and I'm gonna try to finish the flooring maybe do some trim pieces on the inside and I'll be closer and closer to being done with the she shed right now it's a mess in there um, I'll show you later um, my wife and daughter had a um, at a uh, craft room in the house, but now that's baby boy's room. So all of their craft supplies are in here, and I will admit I've been storing stuff in here too, and now it's kind of a big jumbled mess. There's construction stuff in here, tools. Um, so I'm gonna try to get some of that stuff out of here so it can start to look more like a she shed, and hopefully I can get this done before uh, winter time is my goal, I hope. But let's get to work on those stairs. I did it, I got the stairs in. Um, I've had uh, most of the wood and the hardware laying around for over a month, just finding the time to do it. But let me show you what I like seeing at the end of a project. I always love to see this. It's level, baby. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
this is going to do the job for the stairs now of course i got to do the railing um we ain't done yet people we ain't done yet let's get inside uh the she shed is my goal for today but before we can get inside i gotta do something real important and that's clean up this porch i need to get all these tools up i got screws i got all this stuff so let's go ahead and clean the porch ta-da it's so easy to clean and uh, I changed my shirt, it's gotten hot out here. Um, the girls are working on their saddles, getting their horse saddles clean. I am gonna show you the inside of the shed, but first I need to clean out some of the construction materials and other things I've been storing in there. Um, and then we'll see what we're working with and I'll talk about what I got left to do on the inside. Um, I got the stairs done. My next step is finishing up uh, some railings and things like that. But even if that doesn't happen for a while, that's all good because I got stairs in. Um, but right now, we got to clean out this she shed. Okay, so I'm walking away from the she shed just so you can see the damage. Um, this took me a while to clean out. Um, there's some trash in there, some lumber, some random stuff from other projects, lots of tools, camping gear. I needed to get it out and now there's nothing in there but my wife's and daughter's craft stuff and then just what I need to finish off what's in the she shed. Like I left some flooring in there and some trim pieces and some insulation, but that is for the she shed. So I'm not storing anything in there that isn't to finish the she shed. Um, let's go and uh, check out these steps, which I just still need to paint and stain again. But let's go ahead and see what the she shed is looking like these days. Okay, here it is, folks. Um, I know it's probably been a while. This ceiling was the ceiling for my wife's childhood home from the 1800s, I think it was built. Um, I built that little loft mainly for storage, and it's like, you know, it's like maybe we could have a, um, a guest area up there, just a lofted mattress area. I don't know. Um, it's just extra storage, and I'm not too tall and I can walk under this. This is only about six feet tall here. Um, the flooring again is almost done. I just need to finish that last piece. There's Teddy, um, this last section. I think that's enough flooring. If not, I got more. And this was all given to me by uh, a buddy of mine who has a YouTube channel. Uh, math does, Matt does math. That's right. Matt does math. He's a science teacher. Um, so I need to work on this a little bit. I still need, need to get the site, the paneling up for this, paneling up for that. And what we really need to do is get this thing wired 100% for, uh, electricity. And then we can start to use it. We already have some mice coming in through the door. So I need to work on that. Make this, uh, mouse proof because I don't want this to be a haven for mice this winter. So thanks for joining us on the She Shed. We're gonna get back to work on this. Um, I need to get the paneling from Home Depot, um, which I gotta make a special trip into town because there's no Home Depot for about 45 minutes from us. Uh, so I need to get three more pieces of panel. I'm gonna do something different with the front wall. I just don't know what it is yet. Um, but hopefully I'll be back on this soon, like next weekend, and we'll see some improvement, I hope. Thanks for joining us.